So this is Shush, and we're doing a little podcast each month to accompany these live events we do in Sheffield and hopefully in some other places as well to get some space. They have a simple theme. Tonight's is peace and there are aids to get some space. So you're not in the room, so you might want to use some of these ideas to reflect, to listen to, to come back again. We'll also put some stuff on the website that you can try this month making origami doves, reflecting on a Rumi poem about letting love speak to your life, to your heart. But right now you might want to just take a moment to think about what you think peace is. Peace begins with a smile, said Mother Teresa. What is it that generates peace in your life? Maybe you want peace from conflict. It was Aristotle that once said, it's not enough to win the war, it's important to organise the peace. And that sense of a freedom from conflict is one that many people around the world live with as a reality right now. Maybe you're one of them. How do you find peace in that? For those of us who might live in peaceful countries, how can we be bringers of peace, be peacemakers? Rumi said, out of the beyond, ideas of wrongdoing and right, there is a field and I'll meet you there. Where the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. Maybe that's the sort of peace you're looking for, peace that allows you to rest. If that's you, take a moment, be still. Allow that peace to envelop you. But that peace can only be something tangible if we're allowed to live it out. Gandhi had rules for each morning. He said, let the first acts of each morning be to make the following resolve for the day. I shall not fear anyone on earth. I shall fear only God. I shall not bear ill to will towards anyone. I shall not submit to injustice from anyone. And I shall conquer untruth by truth. And in resisting untruth, I shall put up with all suffering. How do we allow the peace that we seek to be something life-giving, not just to us, but those who are around us? Let there be peace. So frowns fly away like albatross and skeletons foxtrot from cupboards. So war correspondents become travel show presenters and magpies bring back lost property. Children, engagement rings, broken things. Let there be peace. So storms can go out to sea, angry and return to me calm. So the broken can rise up and dance in the hospitals. Let the aged Ethiopian man in the grey block of flats peer through his window and see Addis before him. So thrilled his outstretched arms become frames for his dreams. Let there be peace. Let tears evaporate to form clouds, cleanse themselves and fall into reservoirs of drinking water. Let harsh memories burst forth into fireworks that melt in the dark pupils of a child's eyes and disappear like shoals of silver darting fish. Let the waves reach the shore with a shh.